From the toolbar, click the Patio tool, and from the Tool Options Draw Methods, select the Close Polygon option. Position the cursor at the corner of the deck. Left-click to set the first point. Using your left mouse button, click points to define the shape for the perimeter of the patio. This doesn't have to be precise. After the shape is finished, remember that individual points as well as edges around the perimeter can be adjusted. Notice the alignment lines that appear to help you align with different points in your drawing, like for instance, the corner of that deck. Continue picking points around the pool, finishing by repicking the first point and the patio would be drawn. Let's go to 3D. We will go to our materials and from the custom library dropdown, we'll choose Belgard Hardscapes. Drag and drop the material onto the patio surface. Smart One technology sees that it's a patio, gives you an option to apply it here just to this patio or to all the patio in your design. Experiment until you find the material that you like. And adjust the 2D view to see the left corners of the patio. Let's add a little more interest to the patio. Choose the fillet tool in the standard toolbar on the left. Click the corner point that you wish to curve, then click and drag that point with the left mouse button down to create a curved corner. Add a curve to the next corner. Now that the patio is done, it's time to add a driveway and walkway up at the front of the house. From our landscape tab, click the driveway pathway tool. In tool options, set the width to 18 feet and press enter. For style, you can choose either curved or straight. Click straight, pick points to define the center line of the driveway, and right click to finish. Back to our materials. From the drop down, we'll choose Belgard Hardscapes again. Change back to full 3D view and look around the house at the hardscapes you just added. 